Throughout most of music history, castrados had a prominent role in operas, churches, and courts across Europe. The castrado was a singer like no other. He could sing with the high pitch of a young boy and the force of a grown man. Castrados don't exist in this age anymore, largely because the brutal practice that created them was outlawed many years ago. And together we will learn about this bizarre history. So let's open our eyes. Open your eyes for the next saga. The process in creating castrados involves drugging a young boy with opium and castrating him. Castration would alter the boy's puberty to prevent their voice boxes from maturing, and the lack of testosterone result in longer bones and chest cavities. So castrados were very tall and had very large rib cages. This process was done in order to avoid similar incidents such as this. What a voice! Young Homer's going to make me a millionaire! Hey, my voice just changed. Oh, nice! When Christ was born! Dag nabbit! The operation was never legal in the first place. However, this process would have been done by unscrupulous surgeons. To get around the ban on castration, people would make up absurd stories for what happened to the boys, from being attacked by boars to falling off a horse. But yet in Rome, where the practice was most popular, people so badly wanted to hear the castrati sing that they conducted this practice on up to 5,000 boys annually, beginning in the year 1500. Castrati initially sang at the Vatican, where women were not allowed to go to. Technically, the Vatican punished castrators with excommunication, but in 1589, the Pope allowed a castrati chorus because people wanted to hear the voices of angels. The growing popularity of the opera spurred demand for the castrati. Poor families would even sacrifice their boys because of the potential wealth a castrato could bring. The biggest castrati singers toured the world, enrapturing audiences. They'd often dress as angels, set to sing with force, agility, and pitch like no one else on earth. In 1902, the Vatican banned castrati from the Sistine Chapel. Today, there is only one recorded castrati singer, Alessandro Moreschi, who had sang at the Sistine Chapel. Here is a bit of the recording. Thank you for watching, see you again for the next saga.